close to Oklahoma City last year. What, what do you feel like you learned that could potentially help you take that next step this year? I feel like we learned a lot about how hard we're pushing ourselves in the weight room. You know, we see like that transfer out onto the field and like, thankfully with coach KJ, she just pushes us so hard. And you get to that point where everyone's like, everyone's tired, everyone's doing the same thing. And you just realize like, that's where it's coming together. Like we've started stronger this year than we have any other. You, you guys use that postseason mentality mantra. Do you feel like you have an even better sense of what that means? What that, what, what kind of men mentality requires to, to push through to the ultimate goal? Yeah, I think we've just gotten as far as we wanted to before. Like we always said to get as far as like farther than we have been before. And that point last year was Super Regionals. And now the goal this year is to get even farther than that. And I just feel we've kind of all matured and like we're all really old. Yeah, we have a lot of young girls, but we're helping them. And they're also coming in so mature and just so ready to play and ready to fight. And it's just pushing us to be even harder on each other to like have that postseason mentality all year long. I do want to kind of talk about that. Having this core set of pitching rotation come back, obviously, again, for another season. How important is that for you, not only as a singular pitcher, but as a core group of pitchers and having that connection with all, all the pitching rotation in there? Yeah, I think it's been so nice just having Morgan and Reggie like they're just really mature and they've been there for even longer like sophomore me was still new like I had only faced like these teams a few times I faced other teams like Arkansas was the only team that I had faced more than one besides pack teams and so it's they're being able to be mature and like tell me like hey like just the mindset that goes into all of that and just having now Taylor, like a new girl, like we're able to all work together because we've all been weathered through this time. And it's just been really nice to just work with all of them. Obviously Tara's still around, but you're not throwing her in the same role. What's it like, you know, working with different new catchers, Emma back there, just what's that dynamic like? How has it developed? I, I love it. It's just way different having someone that's there to just help you and just help you understand like different things like they can say to you, what they're like used to saying to their pitchers that you're like, huh, like I actually really like that. Or like just finding each other and then also like finding a rhythm behind the plate. T with Tara, I had to like figure it out pretty soon. And like me and Emma were both new to each other. So now we're, it's like, okay, like what do you like to do that you've been doing with other people versus what I like? And just having that work together and Val I've been working with for years. So it's been nice just to have her just be that consistent one that's like, hey, I need you here. Hey, I need you there. Whereas Emma's like, hey, like, let's work on this. So it's kind of nice having them play off of each other. How has that helped you this off season? It's just pushed me to find more bounds that like I can push in myself and like also finding new mindsets. And like, I've thrown to half this team for three years now, so they know what I throw and just like being able to trust what like when catchers call or when I'm getting to call in practice, like just being able to trust like what I want to do. And it just pushes me even more when we get into season to just trust what I'm doing. If I remember from Paul, you were talking about trying to change your own profile a little bit, right? Get a little bit stronger, maybe a little more velocity. Like, where are you at, Emma? Have you seen, are you seeing the progress that you hope to get through this off season? I feel myself is just more like mindset wise. I feel like my first year, like that was new. Like I had nothing to lose at that point. Then last year, I kind of got to a point where I cared too much about the statistics. And I felt myself like, doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. Like, I just need to work hard. I just need to help my team in any way I can. And so that's just kind of been more of like mindset pushing me this year. You you had talked about potentially trying to add, I don't want to say to your repertoire, but trying to develop a, a more expansive repertoire, adding a new pitch kind of thing. Did that end up materializing? And how are you feeling with it? Uh, I feel really good with it. I have been able to add a few and I'm excited to showcase them once we get into Florida, you know, and just start getting into pack with pitchers I see or hitters I see every three games. Like, you know, I'm just excited. They've seen me for two years now. Let's see if they notice anything different. They can pick up on it. I'm just excited. And you got the opportunity to travel in the off season and you even did. Uh, I know you did like a camp where you got to kind of teach. What were those experiences like and how did they help you kind of come into this new season? Uh, it really pushed me to pay attention to the younger ones that are there. Like I have um, a niece who just loves softball now. She always wants me to come to her practices when I'm home. She always wants me to catch her. She wants to show me her pitching. And it's nice getting to see that younger generation and being able to just understand that like I was you at some point and I, I'm gonna keep that little girl in me happy and I'm gonna keep pushing myself. Yeah, the days are gonna get hard, but also helping those girls that are getting to that like 15 age range and up and just telling them like, just be a good teammate. It doesn't matter how you perform on the field all the time. Just be a supportive, helpful teammate. 
and to just be able to let go of the small things because they can add up, but you can always just reset and just let go because like, it doesn't matter at the end of the day, it's just helping your team win. I know that the goal for the team obviously is to make it to the World Series, take that next step, but what are the goals for you personally as an individual? Do you have any set goals that you really wanna to try to achieve this season, whether it is something statistically or something that maybe you won't see in the stat book? For me, I mean, being an All-American is always the goal at the end of the day, but I just really want to just keep helping my team win. I like, I try not to pay attention to statistics or anything because for me that gets into my head and then I start kind of like snowballing. And so I'm kind of just trying to help the team in any way I can, whether on the field, off the field, in the dugout, picking pitches, anything that it needs to be. That sounds like something easier said than done, trying to not focus on something that you've been so focused on you know, maybe being a little more process oriented than, than outcome oriented. How, how has that been? Has it been challenging for you? Yeah, it's been challenging. I mean, thankfully enough, like I had an older sister who I watched who really was into the statistics and everything. And everyone gets like that at some point. And so being able to learn from her and being able to also learn about how holding that weight of every game, every pitch, every performance on yourself and just solely on yourself. I just saw how much it like took away from her actual like skill that she had. And so like, I just had realized like, I need to be a good teammate before I care about anything that's going on with myself. This potentially be more fun for you this season? Oh yeah, I, it, it feels a lot more fun. It feels on the, just like our energy all together. Like they're also like, we've all cared more about the team, like just in general. And so it's really nice having everyone there. You got to see the team probably more than anybody, you know, pitching against them. How would you, how would you characterize the offense this season? If you could describe in a couple of words. I would say dominant, fast, and just constant blows. Like once they get their little chance, they're just gonna keep on pushing forward. They're not gonna stop. Out of all the newcomers, who has been the hardest out? <sighs> Probably Emma. She's very strong in the lineup. <laughs> like it is, like I love and hate throwing to lefties at the same time like my curveball is my one of my favorite pitches to throw like I can always trust it to get to where it needs to go and just having lefties there it's always like I'm afraid I'm gonna hit them and so like now it's like Emma I'm like come on <laughs> she's just such a power hitter and so it's just really like okay well now what I'm gonna go with yeah, and I know to start the season is such a unique time where you get to face um so many other powerful teams, a lot of power five schools right off the bat. Um, what do you remember just about last year, you know, facing some big power schools right off the bat? And what are you maybe taking in, from that into this year? I think this year I'm just trying to like, just let it go. You know, I know these girls have good, good bats. I know they've been recruited to do hit home runs and do whatever they can hit the ball hard. And so I'm just trying to let the home run go, let the hard ball to the gap go, let the ball to the wall go, and just like trust my defense to get that and get the outs behind me. Whether I walk a girl, hit a girl, they hit a home run, any kind of base hit, just trust them to get an out somewhere.